Welcome back. All right, this is what we have from the last video, and um, basically we create this uh, post title and body and the author as well from the hard code in here. Okay, we don't get any data from database or something like that. So in this video, we are gonna read database from oop block database and we have a table called post and we are gonna showing this data which is title body and author to this page all right so let's let's create another folder another file i mean inside a class we are gonna create a file called dbh dot class dot php all right so inside in here let's open php tag and just remove the ending php tag because this is just full php we are gonna typing in this file so let's create a class called dbh and whoa and in here let's set the public and let's create a property called yeah, its name just for example and um uh, let's just say hello variable and we put a uh, hello world uh, I cannot type in hello world. <laughs> hello. Oh man, I'm so really stupid. <laughs> okay, save. And now, so let's go to includes folder and create another file in here. Let's create a class dot test auto load dot include.php all right in this class auto load let's create a php tag let's remove that and we need to call function it's spl dot auto load dot register okay and so let's create a function in here function call auto load we're gonna paste in name uh just class name class name and in here what we need to do is create a path variable and inside in here let's create a classes which is this folder classes okay and slash uh, for the extension extension yeah just x something like this so make that sort so in here let's say dot class dot php and let's create a file name It's gonna be equals to don't need the quote let's do in here path concatenate with uh, the class name and the extension all right so let's just for checking in here if file not access the file name we need to return false and in here let's see include ons file name all right so in index.php 
make it a little bigger we need to include include this folder and we're gonna looking for class dash auto load dot include dot php okay it's gonna be looking for this file and oh yeah we need to add this function to this auto load register we need to using double quote in here so that's that's the syntax okay so save and what happening here basically is i'm gonna show you right here okay so as you can see in here we are gonna include this file name variable the file name variable we get the path all right this is the classes which is this folder and um, class name right here is gonna be represent everything what we are gonna instantiate object in here okay we are gonna doing now okay just for example let's create a just uh, say hello we are gonna say equals new and dbh all right so just by doing this your instantiate dbh which is right here and this class and basically what, what happened is this class name is going to be changing to be dbh because we have instantiate that right here okay so what happened here is path is going to be classes slash file name it should be dbh and uh, extension is going to be uh, dot class dot psp it's going to be looking for everything we are going to instantiate in here if you if you instantiate another class in here maybe a person is going to be looking for uh, classes less person dot class dot php okay now that makes sense so now in here what we need to do is we need to echo say name say hello and we are gonna looking for the say hello right here okay so now save and let's see what we have okay we had we have a hello world so it's 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 work okay so let's close the auto load file and in here all right so we don't need this so let's get rid of this let's say prefet and say host host is going to be equals to local host and second is user of course it's depending on what, what user you use, use. Uh, and for the default you can use a uh, road in here and I just copy and paste that and this is gonna be the password and by default it's empty something like that and see database name uh, it's just gonna be op block okay let's remove that all right so i'm changing my username as a john and my password as admin okay so in here let's create a public function and we call that connect uh, just for make sure it's work I want to do is just return this dot 
false not dot host okay so basically we are gonna return the local host when we run this method okay so let's try that let's change to host host and we have a fun function called connect all right Alright, so let's save that and let's see what we have. Alright, so everything is working just fine. So let's go back to dbhi.class.php and we don't need this. Okay, what we need to do is create another variable called bsn. It's going to be equals to mysql. Say host is going to be equals to and we're gonna call this host so we need to use using this keyword and the host all right and let's create another string in here db name it should be equals to we are gonna call this db name all right so under in here let's create another variable called pdo and we are going to instantiate new pdo in here and we are going to send tsn variable in here and the user and a password so this user comma and this password all right, so in here, what we need to do is sing PDO and we are going to call function called set attribute. Set attribute. Let's make sure spell right. Set attribute, cool. And in here, what we need to do is PDO. We're going to create a default edge mode using capital word. say default fetch mode comma pdo and fetch basically you can use fetch object in here if you want say return you know return the pdo all right so save and let's create another class called post.class.php okay in here we need to open php tag remove the ending tag and let's create a class called post and it's going to be extends to dbh right Let's create a public function. Say get post, get post, and what we need to do in here is uh, create SQL statement, SQL statement, and we're gonna select everything from. Uh, the table name it should be post right and uh, we need to do in here is create variable statement it's gonna be equals to this we are gonna call connect function this is from uh, right here okay and we can call this function because we create this class and extends in dbh right so this connect and we need to prepare that because we're using pdo prepare and we're pasting sql in here and finally let's execute
and we don't paste anything in here because we just want to grab everything in post we don't send any uh, you know what's value or something like that all right so in here all we need to do is just just checking while result is equals to statement is gonna be fetch all and if while is true we need to return the result okay so let's instantiate this class just make sure everything is work so in here what we need to do is just remove everything in here let's create a post variable is going to be equal to new post okay and just for make sure let's print our uh, the post right here okay so now save let's see in the browser what we have when we refresh all right so finally we get localhost and all right just by print are the post meaning you print this uh every object in here we don't need property we need to access this get post so let's go ahead and do that so right here need to do is get post function method i mean <laughs> all right so let's reload that out and the fun variable stmt okay post.class what we have wrong in here okay it's it's should be have a t in there okay so reload again so now i hope that work Okay, it's, it's not showing anything in here because it just returned that it's not uh, showing anything in the browser because we didn't use any echo or print r or something like that so let's cut that out so print r print underscore r and paste in here okay i hope it's showing something from a database which is the data so reload and now we get the data okay cool now we have uh, the id one title post one body this is the post one after we have each one though as well okay it's 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 work so we don't need put in here so we need to put under in here all right so in here basically let's create a row and inside in here let's open php tag and let's instantiate that again post is going to be equals to new post like that and in here what we need to do is just checking if we have a data or if if we don't have any data in the database okay so if now we need to open php in here so php if post you're gonna call the function called get post right get post if this true we need to run everything inside in here just make sure we close the if statement in here so let's create php and we're gonna using an if right here okay so we need to using else statement so we need to php and else right here okay so if we have data what we need to do is just h1 have, uh, show data and else we need to just paragraph in here post is empty Okay, so now save let's see in the browser so now we have showed data because we have data right 
so let's close that out <laughs> let's remove that now let's create um, for each in here so PSP for each and I need to say post I need to call the get post in here say as uh, we need to call that post for every single post and just make sure we end the uh, for each so and for each all right so what we need to do in here is just copy everything in here okay just copy that copy and we are gonna paste inside in for each right here and just make sure everything is should be look cool all right so this is yeah it's really cool so for the title we need to grab php we can type in ehu in here or just equal for represent ehu we need to grab the title right so post title and this is for the body right for the content so let's remove the hard code right here and just open php and echo we are need to post and this is gonna be at the body and the outer as well we need to open php tag in here and it should be echo <sighs> i'm doing that it's gonna be echo pose and it should be outer all right so now save let's see I uh, just want to remove everything hard code in here remove that you don't need that so now save and just take a look right here what we have here we go we have a one pose from a database all right so that was really cool all right so for the next video we are gonna make this work so we can add post and the post is going to be automatically go to this index page all right so just make sure you stay in this playlist so i'm gonna show you in the next video and bye